All right, coming up next, it is a welterweight showdown between the Nigerian nightmare Kamaru Usman and Colby Covington. Ready. Ready to fight. Well, always great to be back on the left coast as we get underway here at the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. All right, going for the early takedown, he gets it. So no surprise, he wanted to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. Ushmans has got full mount now. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch it go parallel right now. And he's out. Getting the ground and pound going pretty good here early. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Usman. Keeping busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Usman. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Back to the stand up now. Both fighters upright. Oh, big knee to the body. How did he get that one home? So 31 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Just misses with the punch by Usman. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most, if not all, of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, working hard here against the fence. We'll see if he can get the takedown. Oh, I guess the takedown late in the round here. That's a way to leave an impression on the judges. And big picture, I think, could set him up for future success in the next one. there just as the horn sounded safe to say he was saved by the bell there so back to the stools they go 60 seconds to recover here we're gonna fight on ladies and gentlemen another round coming up All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes DC a lot of good work on the crew. all right here we go now with round two Kamaru Usman versus Colby Punch over the top That strike is blocked. Straight counter, is it? Well, certainly not just a wrestler as the champion Usman shows his boxing chops there, DC. Beautiful combo. Yeah, Henry Hoof has done a fantastic job with him. He's a pupil to Henry. Henry's taking him under his wing. He's taking the time to build this young wrestler into a great fighter. Level change, leg, finish the takedown. Great job. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off his back, DC. All right, dominant position for him here. Full mount. If you're the bottom fighter, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is, oh, nice inside trip there. Oh, that was nice. Covington's looking to pass out of the half guard and attain side control here, but unable to do so. Oh, looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. 
Gotta be careful, Armbar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that armbar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Body really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at the angle of that nice body. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston. A huge shot finds the toll. Great shot. so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter, and I thought he did a good job of doing just that. Here's Bruce Buffett. 